My name is Dimitra Kotula. I'm an art historian who specializes in Byzantine art and currently curator at the Greek Ministry of Culture. Today, I'm going to talk about briefly a post-Byzantine icon and its history. The wooden panel, approximately one meter high, depicts the enthroned virgin with Christ's child and was executed in 1664 by the Cretan painter Emmanuel Zanas. It is now kept at the Byzantine and Christian Museum in Athens. The Athenian Church of St. Andrew preserves precious hagiographies of the strict Byzantine style, but these were damaged. The hagiographies were marvelous works of art and constitute invaluable examples of post-Byzantine fresco painting. This is the opinion of the Greek theologian, historian, archaeologist and intellectual Georgios Lambakis, a prominent figure in the late 19th century Greek cultural scene, as regards the decoration of the chapel of St. Andrew, the main church, Catholicon, of the known today as the St. Philothay Monastery. The icon of the throned virgin with Christ child decorated the iconostasis, the sanctuary barrier in that church. A fine work of 17th century post-Byzantine art, it follows earlier prototypes of the so-called Cretan school with a spirit of freedom and originality, evident in the series of colonnades that support the back of the Virgin's throne, as well as in the bas figures of the hymnographer's prophets holding open scrolls with texts referring to her. However, the so unique icon, it's not in its original place. St. Philothay was an extraordinary woman, born Regula Benizelu, to a wealthy aristocratic family in 1522. The recently renovated house constitutes a unique symbol of 16th century secular architecture in Greece. Around 1550, Regula refounded the family chapel of St. Andrew which stood close to her house at the heart of the nowadays historical center of Athens as a convent. The convent grew into a thriving economic and intellectual community in 16th century Ottoman occupied Athens, open especially to women from all ethnic groups and boosted the Athenian economy and culture before the revolution. However, the monastery does not stand today. In 1892-93, the monastic complex, the chapel of St. Andrew included, was demolished as part of the newly established modern Greek stage agenda, which favoured, under the influence of the predominant European Romanticism, the classical, over Greece's Byzantine past. Georgios Lambakis collaborated with two young British architects, students of the newly founded British school at Athens, Robert Vyar Saltz and Sidney Bansley, in recording the building's architecture. Their drawings and photographs of the St. Andrew Chapel, preserved both in the British school Byzantine Research Found Archive and the Lambakis Archive at the Byzantine and Christian Museum, are invaluable records of the now lost monastic complex. Thus, the icon of the enthroned virgin with Christ's child constitutes a unique testimony of the Athenian history before and after the 1821 War of Independence. Its connection to the monastery founded by St. Philothay highlights the role of women in preparing the revolution. The politics of the newly founded modern Greek state towards surviving cultural heritage, as well as the role of the foreign archaeological schools and their students, scholars, who in many instances, like in the case of the British Vyar Sultz and Bansley, in collaboration with Greek intellectuals, assisted in shaping the modern Greek identity. <laughs>